the Iranian regime has a choice. It can either do a 180 degree turn from its outlaw course of action and act like a normal country, or it can see its economy crumble. We hope a new agreement with Iran is possible. But until Iran makes changes in the 12 ways that I listed in May, we will be relentless in exerting pressure on the regime. As a reflection of that resolve, today we are reimposing all sanctions that were previously lifted under the nuclear deal. This includes sanctions on energy banking, shipping, and shipbuilding industries. Since the Trump administration came into office, we have done 19 rounds of sanctions, targeting 168 Iranian entities. Today's sanctions will accelerate the rapid decline of international economic activity in Iran since the implementation of our strategy in May. Since that time, since back in May, over 100 countries have withdrawn from Iran or canceled plans to do business there. The regime to date, since May, has lost over $2.5 billion in oil revenue. We have decided to issue uh, temporary allotments to a handful of countries, responsive both to the specific circumstances and to ensure a well-supplied oil market. The U.S. will be granting these exemptions to China, India, Italy, Greece, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Turkey. Today we sanctioned more than 700 individuals, entities, aircraft, and vessels as part of Treasury's largest ever single-day action targeting Iran. These powerful sanctions directly target Iran's banking, energy, and shipping sectors. They must stop ballistic missiles and abandon their nuclear ambitions if they seek a path to sanctions relief. We are watching the Iranian regime with laser focus. If they try to evade our sanctions, we will take action to disrupt their activity time and time again. The maximum pressure exerted by the United States is only going to mount from here. Companies around the world need to know we will be strictly enforcing our sanctions. Thank you.